Hello, I'm Jasmine. This story is called Riley and the Dancing Lion, A Journey Around Hong Kong by Tanya McCartney. Riley was slurping noodles in Chinatown when firecrackers began popping and fizzing in the dark night sky. His chopsticks clattered to the floor as he ran outside. There were starbursts and tom thumbs, Catherine wheels and spinners, but there was also the flicker of a bedazzled tail disappearing into the surging crowd. Riley ran back into the restaurant to tell his father about the bedazzled tail. Riley's father grinned with a mouthful of noodles and wondrous secrets. He told Riley the tail belonged to a legendary lion that appeared every Chinese New Year amidst the crash of drums and cymbals. But this was no ordinary lion. It was a traditional dancing lion. Riley's eyes grew wide. A dancing lion? Was there really such a thing? Riley knew he had to hunt down that lion. Riley's father packed him a box of takeaway noodles and waved goodbye as Riley jumped into his little red plane and zoomed off to Hong Kong. He has his friend Panda and Dragon going with him. When he reached Hong Kong, Riley zipped through the skyscrapers and flew low into Victoria Harbour. Past the ferries and past the sampans and junks, they're all types of boats, carrying oodles of people to Hong Kong Island. And into Kowloon and its busy bee streets, where Riley glimpsed the most astonishing sight. Could it be the bedazzled tail of a dancing lion? Indeed it was. But alas, it was not the kind of dancing lion Riley was hoping to see. That looks like a hip hop dancing lion to me. Riley soared past the Victoria Peak tram, a long jiggling contraption clambering up the mountain on Hong Kong Island. No dancing lion. At the top of Victoria Peak, Riley was very excited to see another dancing lion, but not the one he was looking for. It's a ballerina dancing lion in a pink tutu. He tried the bustling pool at Kowloon Park, but there was only a pair of synchronised swimmers dancing splashingly in the shallow water. Soaring over the beach at Stanley, Riley felt sad to discover nothing more than a highland flinging Scotsman dancing lion leaping over rocks on the shoreline. And at Aberdeen, a Latin duo performed the tango, samba and flamenco across the decks of sampans in the bay. But where was the traditional dancing lion? It would soon be Chinese New Year and Riley wondered if he would ever find the right dancing lion. He flew over Ocean Park. A jazz dancing lion entranced the crowds. 
but there was no traditional lion in sight. He flew past the Lantau Buddha and spotted the most magnificent sight. But it was only a trail of Chinese dancers fluttering their fans in the winter sun. At Macau, a tap dancing line went tippity tap tap tappity tip tip up and down the steps at the ruins of St Paul's Cathedral. No traditional lion. It was getting dark. As Riley swooped his little red plane into the night sky, firecrackers began popping over Victoria Harbour. Would he find the dancing lion before Chinese New Year slipped over the horizon? Suddenly, the fireworks over Kowloon went bonkers, exploding like a rainbow of popcorn. Excited, Riley and his friends zoomed closer to see what the fuss was all about. When they reached Hong Kong Night Market, Riley's heart sank. The only dancing lions were ballroom dancers, foxtrotting fancifully. But suddenly, there was a clash of cymbals and the dancers swirled away. The crowd parted and Riley could hardly believe his eyes. It was a traditional dancing lion, jiggling and wriggling and leaping to the smash and crash of gongs and cymbals and the roaring of the New Year crowd. But is this a real lion? Let's find out. Riley gasped as two martial artists slipped out of the dancing lion costume. They had been performing a very special kind of dance, the ancient art of Kung Fu. Riley knew he had found his traditional dancing lion. With a happy little jig, he jumped into his plane, waved goodbye and began the long journey home. As Riley disappeared into the night sky, the traditional dancing lion stirred. It shook its fur, stretched its paws and arched its back. Then it flicked its bedazzled tail and danced off into a bright and beautiful new year. The end.